Hey everyone, it's Mia Asano, and today I'm taking you behind the scenes for the video shoot for my Fallout 4 electric violin metal cover. If you haven't seen the music video already, please be sure to check out my channel or the link in the description below to watch the full video because I'm so proud of how it turned out and a lot of work went into this. I'm so, so happy that it's finally released into the world for all of you to see it. And now, let's get into the vlog. Sid just got here and she brought me a bag of dirt. So Sid is my incredible, incredible assistant. She does a lot for me on set, including making sure we have breakfast, coffee. She also helps with transportation and making sure we have all of our gear. So we met up in the morning and then the two of us headed to the first location of the day. There were three locations in all today. This is my fallout look. Thank you, Danielle, for loaning me your cosplay. <laughs> I could not get a vault suit in time for this shoot. I was trying um, and all the websites I was ordering from were really, really back ordered. My incredible friend, Danielle DeNicola, she's an amazing, amazing cosplayer and designer in LA. And she actually loaned me her vault suit for the video. Without her help, I would not have had a costume for this. I was gonna figure something else out. So I'm really, really grateful to her. She also provided all the props, including the Pip-Boy, the Nuka cola bottle, little bottle caps, the belt I was wearing. She's just an absolute queen and I can't thank her enough. We found this amazing set. Um, my videographer Landon Donahoe is incredible and he did some really great location scouting. So we found this really cool bunker looking fallout set and that was the first location of the day. Landon has done other music videos for me in the past. He's done every music video that I've done with my friend Taylor Davis and he's incredible. So we began the day with him setting up the lighting and camera settings so that everything looked super realistic and apocalyptic. I also really had to get in the zone to prepare for this first leg of the shoot because as you can see, it was based in the vault. The new show recently came out and that's kind of what this was inspired by, but since it's the Fallout 4 theme, I also wanted it to look a lot like Vault 111 and kind of capture that eerie feeling of walking around this vault and being the only one there. I loved using my creepy baby violin, which you can go check out another video I made where I was testing this violin out for the first time. It's made by Stratton Violins, uh, Jeff Stratton and it's so so cool so I was really glad I got my hands on this thank you again to the electric violin shop for loaning me this violin for the video we recorded several takes in this room just to kind of get a feel for the space and to really maximize the time that we had there so how music videos usually work is I record the audio beforehand. Shout out to my amazing producer, Frank Klopacki. He not only arranged it, but he also played all the instruments on it, except for the violins, of course. So we made the track well before the video was shot. And then during the video, obviously I'm not able to record it live. So it's playing off of a speaker while I'm lip syncing over it to the best of my abilities while also trying to look cool. And that's how most music videos work. So it's kind of common knowledge in the industry, but sometimes I'll have people be like, why do I hear drums, but there's no drummer? Um, that's why, because it's a music video. So we had quite an adventure getting to the second location of the day. We shot this at Apex Electronics. They're an incredible small store in Los Angeles and they gave us permission to use this space for like 30 minutes. So we really maximized our time and did as many takes as we could. Their whole store literally looks like it's out of Fallout. Like there's crazy, crazy things that there's like a suit of armor. There was random airplane parts and missiles and every kind of computer part or electronic thing you could possibly imagine is in this store. They have this really cool little room that you can go in that as you can see ended up in the video that actually lights up. It fits so perfectly for Fallout. So shout out to Landon for finding that spot. And thank you again so much to Apex Electronics for letting us work in your space. Also shout out to Sid who literally handheld all the lights while Landon walked back and forth and I was trying to look cool on camera. Uh, it was super, super awesome. It was also so hot in that room. So I'm really, really glad that we only ended up being in there for 30 minutes because I was dying and drinking lots of iced coffee at that point. All of us were exhausted by the end of this. I was very disgustingly sweaty, but it looked cool. So that's all that matters. Awesome. Yay! All right. That was so good. Thank. Good job, good job. Nice. All right, let's book it on out. So then we had a two hour drive to the desert. The exact place we were is technically the Alpine Rock Creek Wildlife Sanctuary, but we were in kind of a desert location that we were able to find. We had to meet up with Sky, who is the owner of my co-star in the video, Gustav the dog, um, who was playing dog meat, the German shepherd. Gustav is a dear sweet angel baby. And he was listed on one of those Instagram accounts at like an animal shelter if they have too many animals 
animals and uh they were gonna put him down and sid and i were like about to just adopt him ourselves and then sky stepped in and and adopted him and, and saved him sky is an incredible friend of mine he's actually the guitarist for two steps from hell who i got to tour with last year so that's how we met i love gustav and i've been a big fan of him for a very long time so i knew he would be the perfect co-star sky and gustav had gotten stuck in the sand and so we were going to save them and as we went to save them we managed to get stuck in a sand pit it took us forever to get out of the sand pit and i was kind of concerned that maybe we weren't even gonna be able to make it to the next location luckily sid and two random men that pulled over on the side of the road to help us uh, with the help of the three of them plus me sky gustav and landon looking on uh, we were able to pull my car out of the pit <laughs> We're at an impasse. <laughs> there were these, they weren't stray dogs, but they were like not on a leash. And so they were kind of roaming the property and they were <laughs> approaching us and we're trying to get Gustav out of Sky's car and into my car. And all these dogs were like surrounding us and it wasn't uh, ideal because, you know, Gustav spooks easily. He's just a baby. Luckily, we were able to lead the dogs away and got Gustav in the car and it all worked out very well. This is Gustav, everyone. Um, and that's Sky. He belongs to Gustav. So I had a costume change at this point from my vault suit look into my raider look. I had this brilliant idea of trying to make the raider look more dirty. Like I'd been out in the wasteland for a long time. So I had Sid pick up a bag of dirt for me. We tried putting the dirt on the dress and it completely failed. So that's why I look very, very clean in the video. <laughs> and there's nothing I could do about it, unfortunately. Um, but I tried. It was so hot at this point, and we also had very limited time to film. We had wasted like over an hour with the dogs and the sand pit and all these things. So it took us a while to finally get set up for the shots, but it ended up being fine. The sun was slowly setting though. And poor Gustav, again, he's a baby and has never acted before. So we're trying to give him treats and keep him engaged. We did a bunch of takes with Gustav while he got used to the camera, but there were just moments when he really wasn't feeling it. And so we gave him a little break. We also made sure he had plenty of water and plenty of treats, but he did a good job. Like he did the best that he could. Landon was super, super accommodating and we never did anything that made Gustav uncomfortable. We were always making sure he was feeling happy. And the minute he ever got uncomfortable, we would stop filming. So um, shout out to Landon and the whole team for making it a very enjoyable experience for all of us. And Gustav seemed really happy by the end of it. The craziest part of today is I did it all in heels. Finally, the shoot was over and it was time to journey back. So we dropped Gustav and Sky back off at the car, said goodbye to the other dogs again, who at this point were crowding around us once again. And I was exhausted, but I felt great. I was so happy that the video was finally done and I was relieved that it had all come to fruition the way that I had pictured it. Now, if you wanna see the final product, be sure to go check out the music video if you haven't already. I'm so, so grateful and proud of how it turned out. And I'm thankful for every single person that was involved on this whole project. I definitely could not have done it alone. This is the biggest, highest production music video that I've done thus far. And so I'm so grateful to everyone that's been involved. If you wanna help me be able to make more videos like this in the future, the best way you can do that is to join my Patreon. My Patreon now is what pays my bills so that I can do music full time and make videos full time. It's also where I share live updates, posts, and behind the scenes for all of my projects. You can also support me by joining my mailing list. You can check out my merch store on my website, miaasana.com or you could just subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video because that helps me out so much and that is free. Let me know if you want to see more behind the scenes vlogs in the future. Let me know if you have any more questions about how I make my videos and thank you so much to all of you for watching this video. Love you guys. Goodbye!